Hello otters, how are you today? Otakana here. Yes, I've had a haircut. I cut it last night because uh, my hair was driving me insane. I feel much better for having shorter hair. Anyway, today I wanted to make a little bit more personal video that is about the stages or one of the stages that we go through in our creative journeys and that is the either the downtime or the burnout or the um, artist block or whatever you want to call it the, the quiet time where you struggle to have maybe the energy or the inspiration or whatever to be creating work and I'm going through that right now and I see a lot of videos on you know like five ways to bust through your artist block and ten ways to inspire yourself to create art and I just wanted to make a video that was about hey yes artist block is a thing that happens it's absolutely normal for it to happen and it's okay you're okay you're not wrong for having this kind of burnout or artist block it's just a natural part of the cycle yes if it goes on for too long then that is a problem but the burnout the artist block itself if it's for a short period of time is totally okay totally part of the process and that it's an important part of the creative lifestyle and with this channel's tagline being about making art easy and my belief that you know creating art is like 70 percent emotional work and 30 percent actual painting it's important for me to start making videos that talk about like the emotional side of making art and like things you can do to make that side a more enjoyable journey as well. It's gonna be a like a vloggy chatty video because I'm just gonna riff off my feelings on burnout and at block and all those names we give the quiet times and because it's hard to spot and because I'm going through it right now there won't be any art making happening on the camera so like Fran says you can put me in the back uh, you know while you do your laundry or whatever and uh, I'll just chat away and yeah so it's just gonna be this for the whole video so artist block, burnout, whatever you want to call it is a thing that happens to absolutely every artist multiple times perhaps even in a year and um, it, it particularly gets you specifically more the burnout is if you just finished a big project that you just put all your energy into then of course you're gonna be burned out and that's not a bad thing you know it's it's just a natural part of being a human being that works really hard if you run a marathon you're gonna be tired the next day right <laughs> and to me it's the same thing I think like artist block and burnouts get a bad rep because it does get in the way if it goes on for too long but it, it happening itself is a completely natural part of the creative cycle if you do a whole lot of work you're gonna get tired and then you get rest and then you're gonna do a lot more work and then you do more resting and then more work it's, it's just a natural part of the cycle and I see a lot of people going oh you know I, I'm, I'm in such a block and I can't create and and just having goes at themselves all the time in their heads or maybe even out loud and from experience that really does not help really doesn't like your body is giving you signals that it needs some rest you need some time off even if it's the thing that you love most which is probably creating art it sometimes needs a rest you know you need to go away not look at you know, like your art or whatever and go and look at something else I mean parents who absolutely adore their children still need to hire a babysitter once in a while so they can have a night off right exactly the same thing you know having like needing that time off away from the thing you love the most to do is absolutely normal it would be weird if you didn't you know need any time off from it but what I'm going through right now is that um, last week I finished my Daniel Smith's Color Showdown series which was like a 10 episode massive series and I also reached my goal of monetizing this channel or you know getting it to the monetizing threshold 
which is separate from getting it monetized. That is to be approved by YouTube at some point later on. And so I kind of look, finished one goal and I don't have another goal in terms of this channel until you know YouTube gives the okay. So ha having finished a big goal and then not having another goal to go to and not being able to set another goal to go to does tend to kind of foster a, a burnout or a um, artist block in itself. And then finishing that big series uh, and I was pumping out like three or four videos a week. Obviously it was a lot of work, really enjoyable work, but it was a lot of work. And once that finished, I just became kind of this like deflated balloon. And I just struggled. Well, I just been experiencing a lot of really low energy days. So for like the last week since I released the channel update video and my studio tour video for my Patreons, I've just been like, I just can't look at my camera lens, <laughs> which is completely normal as well. And it's been the same with my art. I've just been like, I just, I just can't pick up the brush. I have done some work. I made this like, gigantic Um, I made two of these over two days. But that's what I've been doing. Um, the rest of the time, like yesterday, I didn't even do a thing. On every Sunday, we go to a farmer's market to get uh, like fish and meat and like whatever's. I did that first thing in the morning with my husband and then I actually came back home, got changed back into my pajamas and then spent the whole day watching like crappy YouTube videos. Not art, just like top 10 list videos all day and I haven't done that in months but that time of just not thinking about watercolors or art or art YouTube channels or you know watercolor videos or anything to do with that is incredibly important to me because I need time off too and so do you you know you need time off even if it's the thing that you love the most as I said before we get really stressed out about the fact that we're not creating, we're not creating um, the paintings or we're not creating videos or whatever and we're trying to force ourselves to think about making those things that we should be making or we tell ourselves we should be making and like force ourselves to making more and more and getting more and more disheartened by it. It's how you fall out of love with what you love is if you keep forcing yourself to work on it when you actually need time off from it, even if it's a day or a week or however long you need without stressing about it. Some people take time off, sure, but then they spend the whole time feeling guilty and having a go at themselves for not working on what they should be working on. Kind of the same thing. Mentally, you're not taking that time off. So what I like to do instead is just go, okay, like I finished a big project, I'm gonna reward myself with a week off rather than, oh my God, okay, I just have to take a week off and then cry in the corner about how I'm not doing the work. No, you're gonna reward yourself with that time off, right? You're not gonna go near the thing that you should be doing and just go and do something else, you know? Do have a pyjama day. I highly recommend pyjama days, it's wonderful. And then like, I don't know, do whatever inspires you to do. And for me, it's like going outside in nature or going to a, a museum. I find, not art museum, but museums of other craft stuff, like the museum we got married in, the, the National Museum of Scotland. They have a lot of like glasswares, porcelainwares, fashion, just lots of other designed stuff that I find really, really interesting as well. So I like to just go and spend some time around there and just chill. You know, like give it, we are so brought up to either feel guilty about having any time off, like. <laughs> I was brought up by a, a, a workaholic mother, so I know all about that guilt of like having a day off. I'm also quite terrible at taking time off, but then sometimes you just kind of gotta do it. Um, 
but also just like setting an arbitrary time off for yourself just because you need it rather than because it's a bank holiday or a weekend that's really hard for a lot of us to do but we kind of have to do it because our creative cycle doesn't match what like the rest of the society is doing and the rest of the society deciding when we should have a time off so we kind of need to grow the gut to go I know it's a Tuesday, but I need this time off because my creative soul needs it. And if I force myself to touch my work today, it's going to destroy my love for it. Like even a little bit. Because creating art is a lot about passion work. You know, we do this because we love it. It's not a, a, a office work job. Then it's really, really important that we take the responsibility to protect our passion from being just worn away day by day by forcing ourselves. Yes, of course, it's incredibly important that we show up to our work even when we don't feel like it, right? Like some days you're just having a bad day or having a low energy day for no reason and you, you just don't fancy doing your work. And sometimes it's really important to show up to your work anyway. However, it's all, you know, like those days are not the same kind of bad days as the days when you are burnt out or you're having an artist block and you just need to take that time off and go and do something else and not think about your art. That's not the same kind of days and it's really important to know which is which. So the way I know which is which is particularly like if I've just finished a big project like I have then it's going to be a burnout. Like, hands down it's going to be a burnout. When it's like a bad day that you kind of still need to shoot and should just turn up and give it a try in your studio is when it's a bad day because you are having a lot of resistance thought and you know those thoughts my art's not good enough blah 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 when it's a resistive thought pit of despair then the best thing you can do is show up and do the art that you want to do. So for me, it's really, really important to become conscious of what kind of day, the what kind of low energy you're experiencing. Is it the, you are just totally worn out and you need a break or you're having just like a bad mental health day and like showing up to your studio and doing some of your creative work will really help you get out of that because it reconnects you to your art and reminds you why you want to do it and reminds you why you actually really believe in the art that you create regardless of what everyone else has been saying and been implanting all those bad thoughts into your head for you and there are plenty plenty of videos out there on youtube about how to get out of the rut or the artist block or the burnout when you decide you need to get out of it. But this video, I just wanted to make a point about the fact that burnout in itself, artist block in itself, isn't a bad thing. It's not like there's something wrong with you because you're going through it. And the problem with those very helpful videos being out there, but this kind of videos not being out there, is that it makes artist block and burnout look bad like that it even happens to you like the, the, that you managed yourself wrong if that happened to you and you haven't you just worked hard you you know you finished a big project or you just you you're just you're just in that space and that's completely normal and all the bad thoughts that you say to yourself about how whatever you are for having to go through this phase is a like so not true because it's a normal part of the thing and b it is the biggest thing that's going to get in your way in terms of making the most out of your downtime and also in recovering from it because then you are going to start fearing what is a completely natural part of your working cycle but as i said before if it goes off too long yeah then you have to do something about it but it happening to you is okay it's normal this is what's supposed to happen 
you just need to wrap yourself with lots of self-love you know high fives and pats on your back for having finished a big project and just take good care of yourself you know take the week off forget anything else okay like if you have kids you probably should feed them but other than that like just forget like oh i need to you know paint this and put it on instagram or because i haven't posted anything all week and my um, follower counts gonna go down or oh i need to publish a video because if not then you know my channel's gonna go down the pan whatever like just don't worry about it right that those are artificial constructs that other people have created it is computer algorithms and we are not computers we are human beings with cycles that we need to cater for right that these algorithms don't cater for and we can choose to either go with it and just kill ourselves over it or you know have more control of our lives so i hope this video kind of makes sense to you the takeaway message is don't stress if you're going through a downtime it's a complete natural part and if you fight it it's gonna get worse whereas if you just accept it as a downtime and downtimes are very very important like having had bipolar all my adult life it has actually taught me that everybody has ups and downs in their energy and cycles and their life and you can't get to enjoy the ups and hate the downs right they you have to accept all of it this happens you can't just make it this because then you'll die at 30 from a heart attack because you've just gone too fast in your life so down like we need to learn to appreciate down times more and the society doesn't want to let us like appreciate the down times more like not the oh i'm ha it's a weekend i'm having some time off but down times of your energy when your energies are low your health is not great or whatever and you don't have a choice but to have that low energy state that's actually a great fantastic fertile time to nurture your creativity input some stuff input lots and lots of stuff without thinking about how i'm going to turn this into final face just keep drinking in this you know what other people are doing not instagram not facebook like those are bad right we all know that we just get the comparison monsters coming out of us and it just becomes this depressing pool of afternoon of just crying to yourself with some ice cream because oh my god everyone else has this fantastic life with like loads of money travel the world beautiful then and create beautiful pieces of artwork yeah so stay away from those but real inspirations that are good for your soul go and do those things instead you know we don't we won't have time to do that when our energies are high and we have lots of ideas of our own and we, we've got lots of projects happening so enjoy this downtime and take care of yourself because when you're like doing all the work you, f you forget to take care of yourself right so this is the time when you get to have nice long baths nice long walks with your partner or your friends or your dog or the cat if you have a cat that walks on a leash and you know just this is a good time this is not bad this is a natural bath <sighs> right so i hope this helps you in the times when you are struggling with you know the downtime it's totally normal and when you're ready go and check out the other videos on youtube about how to get out of it but for now don't stress it's okay normal part absolutely normal natural part of the cycle okay i'm gonna go and take good care of myself as i hope you will and i will see you in the next video